Hi, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Uh, now I'm a little bit short of time today, so I'm going to attempt to reasonably swift solve the Times Cryptic crossword. Um, so let's see how we go. We had a couple of amusing uh, comments recently saying that they love the channel, but our videos are all so long. And I know it's true, but I guess at the end of the day we're doing difficult puzzles, and that does take time. So loose underclothes, how foolish to pirouette. No clue what that's talking about. Heartless priest dealing with biblical knowledge. Well, a priest might be a cardinal. And if we remove the heart or the central letters from the word cardinal, we get the word carnal, which means dealing with biblical knowledge. Um, things of a carnal nature. Chaucer's opening lines, bits of verse in lines. Whoa. One thing... Um, when you look at a clue like this, your first thought must, might be horror, depending on whether you're a Chaucer scholar. So you might read this as requiring you to know something about Chaucer. I don't read it like that. I think that this C here is Chaucer's opening. So I suspect this has nothing to do with um, literature. Let's do this one. There's nothing odd in trying outfit. Well, if we look at the, uh, if we remove the odd letters of the word trying, we would get R, I, and G, rig. And to rig, it means to outfit. So I think that's the answer there. Uh, heading north, look angry with a fog. Um, I don't know what the answer to this is, but I'll just explain how I'm reading the clue. Heading north, well, in a down clue, if something heads north, this tends to indicate reversal. So I'm thinking that the other side of the clue is likely to be the definition. Perhaps even just the word fog. Because obviously if we reverse a string of characters ending in A, we would get an A at the beginning of that reversal. So, look angry. Glower? No, don't know. Um, we'll come back to it, try and get some letters. He spreads dirt around in foreign land, no germs. I think this is going to be some sort of anagram. The, words, the word foreign here can mean an anagram indicator, because foreign can mean strange, you know. So, land, no germs. It just looks like an odd collection of letters. Now, obviously, land, no germs is only 11 letters, so I'd need two other letters. Around. Around could be circa, CA. So we could be putting CA in an anagram of land, no germs, and it means he spreads dirt. Don't know. Let's try this one. Move carefully, spinning top in game. Don't know. Don't know what that one is. Girl, she was. No. Vomit from gut, agree it needs treatment. Well, this will be an anagram of gut, agree, and it. If we treat those letters, we sort of interfere with them in a sense. And so this is going to be mean it's going to mean vomit. Probably regurgitate. Oh no, regurgitate's not the right number of letters. Oh, it must be something like that. Egurgitate? Is that a word? Is to egurgitate and regurgitate. They must be related. Let's just, I'm not sure about this. Uh, let's try this one. 14 down. Basically, where some Germans live with religious body. Okay, well, this, this I can do. Some Germans live in Essen, the town of Essen. And then religious body will be the Church of England, which is the C of E, often abbreviated in crosswords to CE. And we get in essence, which means basically. Elaborate, el, el, elaborate clothing, right for Brit abroad. Well, okay, the correct way to read this clue is elaborate clothing right. Now, if something clothes something, it surrounds it. We've seen before in Times Crosswords that right is very often abbreviated to R. So I need to put an R in a nine-letter word which means elaborate or elaborate. 
And the answer, I think, is expatiate with an R in the middle, which would give us expatriate. And an expatriate is obviously a Brit abroad. Let's try this one with a P. What writers need, I'm immediately, by the way, I'm immediately thinking pencils and pens here for what writers need. The writer's musing. Right, okay, this, so this means musing. What writers need, writers need pens. The writers, now look at this apostrophe S here, this is possessive. So if you were to say the writer, if I was, if I was the writer of it, I would say I've. So I'm adding I've onto pens to give pensive, which of course means musing. If you're musing, you're pensive. Let's try that one. Moles deprived of energy running in ditch. No, I want to sort of, moles can be spies. I can see how I could remove an E from the word spies, but I can't see how that's going to make a very nice collection of letters here. Let's try this one beginning with T. Bard's hero has much faith about artwork. Well, Troilus, as in Troilus and Cressida, that looks good, doesn't it? So how does this work? This is an artwork is an oil, as in an oil painting, and it's most of the word trust. Faith uh, is a synonym for trust. Um, much faith is saying take much of the word trust and put that around the outside. That gives us Troilus. Um, Flock's leader goes off sheep's tail twirling. It's a very uh, evocative clue that I don't know the answer to. Let's carry on. Survey overlooking conservative revival. Well, I've seen a variant of this clue before. I think the answer here is Renaissance, which is obviously a revival. And one thing that you might be aware of is that you can take the word con from the word reconnaissance, which obviously is to survey, uh, and create the word Renaissance. So. That's just, I think I've seen a variant on that before, so that's just experience that gets me that one. Invalid, not fully well, unfortunately regressing. Okay, well this, there's always one of these in every time's crossword. And it's a clue where the answer is actually hidden inside the letters of the clue. Now here it's a little bit more complicated because it's, it's hidden there in a reversed form. So the way to read this clue is that the definition is invalid and then not fully is our clue to just take some of the letters that are uh, after the, these words. Um, but we need to take them in a regret when they're regressing, when they're reversed. And if you look inside the words well and unfortunately, reversed inside there is the word null, which is the answer. Oh, this was our fog one. Oh, well, look could be, sometimes you see low for look as in, you know, an old word for look is low, uh, as in lo and behold. Um, so we need a word that means fog that goes in here, and this is going to be a four-letter word which means angry, being reversed up, up inside here. So aerosol is the answer. So saw is being reversed, and a, a fog... Uh, I think it can, aerosol can be a word for a fog or vice versa, depending on how you like to think about it. Um, so if I'm right about Chaucer's opening, this means, this probably means lines. Crow's feet is the answer. Okay, that's good. So how does this work? We've got Chaucer's opening, that's this C up here. Lines are rows, and then bits of verse are feet, as in metric feet. Uh, and you get obviously you get those in poetry. So um, again, things like you know iambic pentameter and metric feet. These are things that come up from time to time in crosswords, and it's just one of those things you have to get used to uh, seeing. So cover up, girls, doubtful state.
Well, whenever I see state, I always think of US states. I can see Indiana fits, but I can't see why it would be Indiana. Uh, what's this one? Cut the girl cut hair, she wears the trousers. Well, ooh, I've got this one. Yeah, okay. So short synonym for hair, you can think of mop, wig, but also tress comes up quite often because it's quite a nice collection of letters. So now the way to read the clue is we need a word for a girl and we're going to cut that. So we need a four letter word for a girl. We're going to we're going to cut it short. And this whole thing is going to mean she wears the trousers. I think the answer is mistress. Just not sure whether that clue's a bit sexist, but anyway, I'm sure it's the answer. So a girl is a miss there and she's being cut. So it's not Indiana, but it is dilemma. So a cover up is saying reverse the word lid, lid being a cover, add to it a girl's name, Emma, and a doubtful state is a dilemma. What the hell on earth does this clue end then? Oh, this is this anagram. Scandalmonger. He spreads dirt. And it is an anagram of um, land, no, and germs with CA in the middle, which is exactly what we thought. So that is good. Let's try this one. Have we looked at this one? Grace may be topless is a source of drama. Oh, gosh. I, clues like this fill me with dread because I've never been diligent enough to know that to learn the names of the graces in Greek mythology. So, I don't know. The other grace that occurs to me though is Grace Darling from the Peter Pan stories. It's great, or is it Wendy Darling? Was there a grace? Oh goodness me, I don't know. Let's come back to it before I show more ignorance. Gone to drink clarets possibly, a sign of a break. Okay, well the word possibly here is um, sticks out like a sore thumb. I think this is going to mean there's an anagram of the word clarets somewhere in this answer. So gone to drink clarets possibly. I think we need a word for gone which could be past I think. If something's gone it's past. Drinking an anagram of clarets and the whole thing will mean a sign of a break. A plaster cast must be that answer. Oops, cast. Okay, let's try this one ending in A. Very fond of a joke taken the wrong way. Well, Mark's advice about si solving times crosswords, and we should probably listen to him because he's the 11 time champion, is to always think of short synonyms for every word in the clue. Now, the word joke, um, I, I, when I think of a short synonym for a joke, I think of gag. And that's enough to solve the clue, because if I put, uh, this is a reversal here of a joke, so a gag, it's being reversed. And if you're gaga about something, you're very fond of it. So the only way to solve, well, the way I solved that was just by thinking of a short synonym for a word in the clue. Where ancient stones are put in ground under thoroughfare. Okay, well, I don't know this one, but... The words under and thoroughfare here suggest I need to put another th word or synonym under something that means a thoroughfare. Now there are a few abbreviations that you come up with in Times Crosswords for thoroughfares. Streets, so ST is often seen. RD for road. Avenue. So is this, does this begin with AVE? Putting ground, yeah, putting ground is Berry, Avebury, where ancient stones are. I know that there are ancient stones in, on Salisbury Plain. I'm not sure about Avebury, but I'm very confident that's right because of the wordplay. Moles deprived of energy running in ditch. This is a lovely clue. This is a lovely clue because there's so much of this clue that is uh, misleading. So, because and the reason it's misleading is that the image the clue conjures up is is just as it sounds of some moles who are a bit tired running around in a ditch. But you have to read each part of this clue very carefully 
mole, a mole is another word for a jetty or a pier. So in fact, I think this is jetties being deprived of energy, which gives us jetties. Running, if something is running, it's on, as it's turned on. And that gives us jettison, which of course is not a ditch as in a trench, but to ditch. If you ditch something, you jettison it. So I very much, I think that's a great clue. There's a Y in this one as well. Mineral, the very thing found in wood pile. Oh dear, there's some childcare issues. Sorry, I had to have a brief pause there. We were just looking at this one. A mineral, the very thing found in wood pile. The very thing is probably it. This is going to be the name of a mineral, like bauxite or something like that. Um, Pyrite. Pyre is a wood pile. So pyre around it gives us pyrite, which um, I think uh, iron pyrites, for example, is some form of uh, fool's gold, isn't it? So 24 down, one character abroad, two would be stylish. Well, if you see character abroad, it's almost always referring to the name of a Greek letter. Um, so do try and learn those. They come up all the time. So this is chai or chai, depending on your pre preference for pronouncing it. And it, if you repeat this, two lots of, if something is chi chi, I think the way it's pronounced, it, it's stylish. So with one lot of that, we just get one Greek letter, which is the answer. Total area covered by a Parisian train line. Well, I can see unconditional fits, I think. Why is that the art? If something's total, it is unconditional. So let's put that in and see if we can justify why. Unconditional. Okay. Um, area, that can be abbreviated to A. The only A in the clue is that one. So that's being covered by A Parisian. Well, if you were to say the word A in French, you would say un. UN. So that's this start. So A is covered by A Parisian train line. L can be line. That would make condition train. Oh yeah, if you if you train someone, you condition them. So yes, this is the answer. Unconditional. Very nice clue again. Total area covered by a Parisian train line. It reads very naturally. Lovely. Um, say nothing dropping by for second drink. Say nothing. If you say nothing, you express zero. And if I change, let me show you what I mean by that. Express zero would be to say nothing. Now, if I drop the by, and if you were to do a multiplication sum, you might say three by four, meaning three times four. So a time sign can be synonymous with the word by. Now here I'm going to drop the by and replace it with an S for second. And that gives us espresso, which of course is a drink. Groom's proper place at the front. Groom, crimp, primp, primp. Proper is prim. And then place at the front is saying take the front or the first letter of the word place. That gives us primp, which is to groom. Um, flocks leader. Pasta, probably. Go yes, pasta. Um, so goes off is rots. You can see that being reversed here. And a sheep's tail, a twirling. So rots, A, and the, the last letter of, uh, or the tail letter of sheep is P. I'm about to sneeze. I'm going, to, I'm going to pause it. No, it's gone away. <laughs> uh, that's twirling. It's being reversed. And a flox leader is a pastor, obviously. So, OK, so we're doing well. Let's try and finish this off. Top left-hand corner. Horse to go over boundary fence. Well, horse very often is abbreviated to H in crosswords. Um, other short synonyms you need to think about are nag and gg sometimes. You see for horse, the two letters G. So this is H going over a boundary. A boundary is an edge. That gives us hedge, which is a fence. Uh, this one looks like 
slipshod probably. Yeah. <laughs> yes, okay, it is it is. If something is loose, it's slipshod. Dad. Slips are underclothes. How foolish to pirouette is a lovely way of reversing Dad. the word doll, as in a Homer Simpsonism. A uh, Homer Simpsonism. So Homer Homer would say doll instead of saying how foolish. Um and that's being reversed at the end. Very nice. Um, so, what is this one? Grace may be topless is a source of drama. Lessing? A blessing. So is this... Is it Doris Lessing? Uh... Yeah, I, well, that seems to work. I think I'm not familiar with her books, but I'm pretty sure that that is that's a valid answer. So, blessing without the first letter, topless, gives us blessing, and then we've got move carefully, spinning top in game. Spinning top is an anagram of the word top. That's going to give us. That in a game is a tie that gives us tiptoe, which is to move carefully. Now, I'm sorry I've had to rush through that today. I still hope it's useful, and you can hear there's some child issues going on in the background, so I'm going to have to go. Please subscribe to the channel. Um, please give us a thumbs up, not for the um, not for the children crying, but the crossword solving. That would be most appreciated. Back soon with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.